We're off to St Thomas's Hospital to find out what constitutes the perfect poo. Dr Blair Merrick and his team have been pioneering faecal microbiota transplantation, or FMT for short. These clinical trials could help cure patients' gut problems by literally getting them to swallow the perfect poo. So we're here to talk today about crap shells. Go back to basics. What do we mean when we talk about faecal transplants? What we're looking to do is to take kind of healthy bacteria from the guts of people and give them to people who have a condition which we think we can make better by introducing that healthy bacteria back into their system. What do you do day to day to make your microbiome super? It's a combination of like exercise and diet, mm -hmm. but it's nothing that I've changed recently. I think I luckily had a really good upbringing of like eating like really balanced like food, and I was always like encouraged to exercise. Well, seemingly only two percent of the population are actually eligible; like they've got a good enough poo, basically. What makes those people in Kira's poo so very special? Some of it is kind of about what they have, so metabolites, so the small molecules that the microbiota produce, but it's also what she doesn't have, and that's kind of what's probably the most important. We screen for things that might cause harm if they were uh, transmitted from, from one person to another, particularly people who might be quite vulnerable or frail or unwell from other conditions. Have you always had good poo? Did your like, parents look at your nappy and go, <laughs> what? what a poo? Yeah, Tip yeah. Top. Yeah, maybe it must have been. I was always born to do <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> Dr. Blair's crapsules could be an effective treatment for C. difficile, a bacteria which causes infection in the large intestine, and in the worst cases, can be fatal. The reality of the situation is, is that poos could change lives. Yeah, absolutely. In people who have this recurrent C. diff infection, mm. this is often the best option for them, and that ultimately is a condition which, if untreated, can lead to death. So this is essentially a life-saving treatment. Okay, so we've got two hours to get this poo up to the lab yep. and made into crap shells. Okay, we're doing the dirty exchange. Yeah, there you go. Right. Thanks very much. Thanks. Deal. Okay, go uh, gadget, go. Right. Bye, Blair. Bye. See ya. So, how do you make the perfect poo capsule? We start off with the raw product, which is feces, it's stool. We mix it up a bit in the lab. We filter it to get rid of any undigested food. We pellet the good bacteria and other things, and we then freeze dry that. And then we put this powder into a capsule, and that's what patients take. So your work is pretty groundbreaking. We're doing trials in liver disease, in uh, antimicrobial resistance, so bacteria that become resistant to antibiotics, uh, and then conditions like motor neurone disease, things like that. Keep up the amazing work. These little yeah. puppies could save the world. Yeah.